In this video, you're going to learn how to use the weight by difference technique. Before watching this video, make sure you've watched the open pan balance and analytical balance videos. When transferring a solid sample from a weighing vial to a receiving vessel, some of the sample will be left behind around the edges of the container. This is no fault of the experimenter and can't be avoided, however it has to be accounted for. If you assume that all of the mass was transferred, you'll get significant error in your results. To do this, a technique of weight by difference is used. This uses the initial and final mass of the weighing vial with and without the sample in it to account for only the mass that was transferred. You can do this using either type of balance, but for visibility I'll be using the open pan balance. Weigh your sample just as shown to you in the open pan balance and analytical balance videos, making sure you have the combined mass of the vessel and the sample. You can see that my sample weighs 22.85 grams. Record this mass as the initial mass. Now carefully transfer your sample into your receiving vessel. Make sure not to spill any of your sample when you're doing this because it will alter your results. A good way to do this is to keep your sample capped. Now reweigh your weighing vial. As you can see, there is still some of the sample remaining in the weighing vial. Place the vial back on the same balance and record the value. The mostly empty vial weighs 22.25 grams. Record this as your final mass. The last step is to take the difference between the two values, which I'll show you on the board. If you subtract the final mass from the initial mass, you'll get the mass of the sample that you've transferred. As you can see, I've transferred 0 0.60 grams of my sample. The weight by difference technique is common practice to most chemists, and you practice the method that I outlined for you, it'll become second nature to you too.